Surgeons from around the globe are live streaming robotic assisted procedures over 24 hours to share the revolutionary techniques. The marathon event started in Sweden and today moved to Australia. And a quick warning, medical images are used in this story. Undergoing surgery in front of an international audience. We're just uh, docking a robot over my shoulder here uh, for a robotic radical prostatectomy. Associate Professor Declan Murphy is removing this 53-year-old's prostate cancer in a robot-assisted operation. It's part of a 24-hour event, live-streaming similar procedures from 10 institutions around the world, and everyone's invited to watch and tweet questions. Sigmoid is very prominent here, so we'll, uh, this is the sigmoid colon. For the, the non-surgeons viewing, that's just a part of the bowel. The delicate procedure is a feat of modern technology. There's still a place for open surgery, but where possible, robotic is less invasive. It allows surgeons more dexterity than keyhole surgery and patients recover more quickly. Rather than having straight instruments, limited ergonomics and two-dimensional vision, we now have an operating platform that gives us three-dimensional three high-definition digital vision along with articulating instruments. Tim Davies had robotic surgery two years ago. It was so quick and uh, going, going home the next day was great. He believes broadcasting to the world shows future patients what to expect. Mainly done in private hospitals, since 2003 close to 15,000 Australians have had robotic operations. As there's been a real global community of robotic surgeons um, very eager to, eager to collaborate, share techniques, share experiences, share results. Robotic procedures are mainly used for patients with prostate, kidney or bladder cancer, but that's not the limit. For other procedures, for rectal cancer, gynaecologic ca cancers, thoracic cancers, it's evolving. As well as learning from their colleagues, the live streaming will help train surgeons of the future. Sarah Arbo, SBS World News. Pretty impressive. And later tonight, professional athletes.